The best way to talk to the brain is through movement. Movement is the language of the brain, and when we work intentionally with movement in very specific ways that I do mention in my book, then we impact the brain instantaneously and very often in transformational ways. If there's no movement, first of all, we're dead. Secondly, nothing happens. As Einstein said, until something moves, nothing happens. Sound doesn't come to our ears without movement. Light doesn't come to our eyes without movement. When you move with attention, it's like coming home. You know if something feels right or not. You become your own master. You become your own boss. You, you're able more and more to guide yourself, not just in your movement, but in your life in general. Have you ever felt like you wake up in the morning and you can't quite get yourself to wake up and it's already midday and you're still a little hazy and you need to think and do your work and you're still kind of asleep? Sit in a chair, close your eyes, and start doing some very gentle, slow movements. For instance, with your arm, just lifting it up and lowering it down. And sort of go with that sleepy feeling you have, but use it to focus on what you feel in your arm and your shoulder and your lower back and your pelvis. And just let your pelvis start rolling in the direction of the arm and see if the arm feels lighter. And then just do this like six, seven times. Put the arm down and notice if one arm feels actually longer. I can feel it right now. It feels longer than the other. Lift your arm and turn your head to look at your elbow. And do this movement again. Lift your arm, look at your elbow, and again, listen to your spine. Feel the shift of weight if you're standing to your right foot and if you're sitting to your right buttock and then again put it down and just listen and then do the same thing to the other side and then get up walk around your chair sit down and see if you woke up because that has woken up your brain